Joining us from more on all of this is on the Global Economy Partners Group advisory partner, former Institute of International Finance CEO Charles Delara. Charles, it's good to see you back. Welcome. Good morning, Carl. It's a pleasure to be with you. You listen to what Mike's uh, saying here on set. You can't blame people for thinking maybe we're not late cycle. Late cycle. Maybe this is mid-cycle. What do you think? Well, I wish I could feel so optimistic, uh, despite the fact that it's the day after Christmas. I'm not sure that this remarkably torrid pace we've seen in market performance in the U.S. and to a certain degree globally can be expected to continue next year, Carl. I, I see still a number of clouds on the horizon. It is certainly true that the ceasefire between the U.S. and China has removed at least part of the cloud over global, the global economic outlook. But it's important to remember that uh, tariffs ranging from 7 to 25 percent, averaging almost 20 percent, remain in the U.S. on over $350 billion worth of Chinese exports. And there's always the risk that new skirmishes could arise because we really haven't seen the details of the understandings between the U.S. and China. And that's not even to mention some of the other question marks which remain on the global horizon. Right. I mean, we're, we're obviously looking for this signing and uh, details of the text. But do you believe that, at least on the U.S. side, that the White House would get more hawkish from a trade standpoint going into the election? Well, I doubt that it will get more hawkish on the broad trade issues, although many of them appear to remain unresolved between the U.S. and China, to be quite honest. I think there will continue to be very difficult issues on select technology companies such as Huawei, on investment into the United States. And I think the trade tensions could navigate themselves into another corner of the globe. You know, we've seen some signals already, Carl, that uh, U.S. European trade tensions could grow this year. And they're already uh, rising. And there are going to be some rulings, WTO rulings, and other things that might heighten the tensions between the U.S. and Europe, U.S. and France. So I think the trade front may not be. Uh, as quiescent as we would like it to be as we move into the election year.